guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda. I'm so glad you are here today. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. If you do, please hit that bell button so you're notified every single time that I upload and you don't miss any inspiration. Everyone, if you enjoy the content of this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up as that is a free way to help your girl out here on YouTube. I hope you enjoy the DIYs today. Let's go. I did just want to say really quick, a big thank you to everyone who's been so supportive and kind at the sad news of our Winston's cancer. Here he is. He is resting. Um, so adorable. And here are our two healthy dogs that we are so grateful for. But I just wanted to say that real quick. Okay, let's jump into the first DIY. This first DIY is so simple and easy and fun to do. It's a perfect DIY to do while watching a movie or listening to a podcast. Here's what it looks like. Very customizable. Dollar Tree has tons of different twines you could use, but I am just going to use some Bonnie craft cord from Hobby Lobby in two different colors and this mermaid tail wreath form from the Dollar Tree. Again, you can get this Bonnie cord at Hobby Lobby $4.99 for a huge roll and that's not on sale so if it was on sale it would be even cheaper so I just cut a strand and I began wrapping this wreath form just gluing it down and wrapping all the way around now if you're using multiple colors like me you can totally choose the pattern that you want to do whatever you think looks best I know Hobby Lobby even has a blue um bonnie cord that you could use but dollar tree has multicolored twines in their nautical section as well so i just wrap 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 i'm going to wrap the whole outline of this um wreath form here in this darker color this wreath form is so fun. You could do all kinds of different things with it. Dollar Tree also has some nautical craft fabric in the nautical section, and that would look really pretty like behind um, the wreath form. You could glue it down and that would look super nice. You could use some seashells to embellish. So really the sky is the limit, whatever you think, but I just did this and it really didn't take me as long as it looks like it would. I just did the top half in this darker color and then I'm I'm just going to do the tail in the lighter color and then to embellish it again you could use seashells you could use anything you like I just found some cute little picks at Dollar Tree along with this nautical line and mine had cute little seahorses on them so pretty they do have several different varieties of picks to choose from but I just cut my picks apart and then just placed the pieces down kind of in a swag formation however I wanted them until I liked how they looked but again customize this however you want this is just such a cute and easy decoration for a wall or a door, I am going to put it in our downstairs bathroom after we remodel it, but I just think that this is so cute, so easy to do, and again, a perfect craft to do while watching a movie, listening to a podcast, just relaxing. I love crafts that you can just kind of do um, while multitasking. As a mom of six, I multitask quite a bit, so perfect craft for me. Here is what it looks like. Again, so pretty, so custom customizable, very inexpensive on a budget, and yeah, perfect, beautiful coastal decor. Okay, let's jump into our next idea. This one is quick and easy and quite a large, a beautiful statement piece for a vignette or a wall. So we're going to begin with three words from Dollar Tree, some Dollar Tree rope of whatever color that you should choose. I held up this cream colored rope, but I do end up using a darker colored rope. Dollar Tree has lots of choices. I have three of these large relax signs from Dollar Tree, but you could really use any of the large signs. You're just going to be placing them together and using some popsicle sticks or whatever scrap wood you might have to adhere these into one large piece. Then you're going to want to flip it over and the back will be your front. I chose a couple of colors by Waverly and I'm going to paint the bottom and the top plank with my Waverly plaster. I am then going to use this other color of Waverly there in the middle and I'm not making my lines super neat. I kind of want them to blur a little bit. I kind of want a 
nice kind of relaxed feel to this. I don't want it super crisp. If you did, you could totally use some painter's tape, which you could also find at Dollar Tree to get clean lines. But I'm actually going to be brushing that blue color on the plaster and then brushing the plaster on the blue. I just like how that looks. Then I'm going to lay out my three words, one on each plank, and I'm going to use hot glue to glue them down. But if you want to use super glue or E6000, whatever you choose, but this actually held really well for me. So it's going to say breathe, beach, relax, and then I'm just going to glue down this darker rope that I chose and I'm going to wrap it twice on either side just for some added embellishments. Now Dollar Tree does have some starfish, some shells, some beautiful embellishments that you could glue to here if you chose to. I just chose to keep mine fairly simple and use the robe as embellishment but really the sky is the limit you could even glue some of those cute little anchors to this sign whatever you like thank you again so much to all of my friends who support me and my kids and my puppies and my family i just appreciate you guys so much you can support my youtube channel simply by giving a thumbs up by subscribing anything is very appreciated however i know there was several different people that wanted to help out in other ways so I did get the link for you can buy me a coffee this is totally optional again I appreciate any support you give me but the link will be in the description box if you are interested next I'm going to show you how I made an inexpensive anchor shelf using mostly Dollar Tree items. Okay, so you will need two anchors from the Dollar Tree Crafter Score section and three of those large style palettes from the Dollar Tree. I began by removing the jute at the top of my anchors and painting them this color of Waverly Blue and I will link the paint colors that I use in the description box below. But here I am painting both of these anchors. Once they are dry, I'm going to dry brush over them with a Waverly Blaster Chalk paint until I get the look that I like. So dry brushing is just taking a little bit of paint on a dry brush and going over it. Then I'm taking this nautical rope from Dollar Tree and I'm going to wrap it around that little top part of the anchor just kind of going through that hole and pulling it around for some added decoration so i just glue down the end wrap 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 and glue down the ends again so here is what my anchors look like now i'm going to paint these three palettes with plaster chalk paint and then i am going to paint every other slat on my palette with this dark blue waverly paint you could use any color of that you like i'm going to do this to all three of my palettes and i'm also going to make sure that the sides coordinate as well and then i'm going to dry brush over those blue slats with a chippy brush and some more of that plaster chalk paint just to make everything cohesive then i'm going to take one anchor and lay it down flat Flat. I am going to use a generous amount of hot glue to stand my palette straight up at the bottom of that anchor. Now there is a little um, kind of hump or bump at the bottom of the anchor. So you can see there, I just make the palette right above that. So that bump is beneath and we will compensate for that here in a minute. Once my palette is glued straight up, I do put some more glue along the bottom. I do that for another palette at the top of this anchor as well. And then I do the middle one the same way. Once that is done, I'm gonna add generous amounts of glue on the upside of the palettes and I'm going to place that other anchor on top. Now if you want this very sturdy I would recommend an E6000 or a Gorilla Glue. For video purposes I am just using hot glue and it actually worked out fine. So now I'm just reinforcing with a little bit more hot glue and I'm going to flip it over and again put some hot glue on the undersides. Now I'm going to compensate for those two bumps on the bottom because as you can see my shelf is very rocky because of those. So I'm going to take four Jenga blocks and I'm going to create two groups of two and just glue them together with my hot glue. Once they're glued together I'm going to paint them with that Waverly blue and I am going to glue one set on either side right inside that little 
bottom bump there. And that will stabilize our little shelf and allow it to stand nicely. This was so easy to make and so adorable. Here's what it looks like with a couple of little Dollar Tree sand dollar and a little starfish and also one of those little nautical balls from Dollar Tree. So adorable for some teeny tiny decor. I think this one as much as I do. Okay, let's move right into the next idea. So for this DIY, I'm going to show you this adorable, again, inexpensive and easy shelf. So I'm going to begin with these two Dollar Tree tags. They're kind of a wood, very thin wood with some cork on them. I'm going to remove the embellishments, which is the twine and the tags at the top, and I'm going to place them flat with the cork side up. I'm going to place three of these Dollar Tree planks on there, one in the middle to hold them together and one on either side to keep my sign level. I am then going to flip it over and paint the whole thing two generous coats of the same paint. I am then going to dry brush over the whole thing with that Waverly Plaster chalk paint until I get the look that I like. I'm going to go pretty heavy. That is not necessary. But then I found these three little shell hooks and a starfish hook from Dollar Tree. I'm removing the little hangers at the back. They just pop right out. And then I'm using a combination of E6000 and hot glue to adhere these to my tag signs. I'm being careful to make sure that my glue is alternated and not touching. The E6000 will give you a long-term hold and your hot glue will give you a temporary hold until that E6000 is cured. So I'm just placing them in a row here at the bottom of my tag signs, one in the middle, one on either side. Now I'm taking this relax word off another Dollar Tree sign, but you can get all kinds of words from Dollar Tree. I'm painting it with my Waverly Plaster chalk paint and gluing it on. Now I'm taking a Dollar Tree sand dollar and a little starfish. They come several to a pack and I'm painting them with a gray color and dry brushing over them with my Waverly Plaster chalk paint. I am going to glue one on either side of that relaxed word for some added embellishment and also a little pop of color. This was so easy and so fun and I really feel like it came out beautiful. Now I'm taking some white or a cream colored cotton rope from Dollar Tree and I'm putting it through the hole on either side and just tying a knot there like you see a simple knot and then I'm just cutting off my little tails that are hanging down and allowing them to fray out a little bit and I'm going to do this on either side of the sign where those holes are and that is how simple it is to make this gorgeous tag side for just a few dollars. It's a very large piece and you could hang some light little towels on there or maybe a robe. You could hang your keys or like me, add some decorative items. It just kind of depends where you are displaying this. Sorry about the lighting right now. It was storming at my house, but I hope you can see how gorgeous this came out okay next i'm going to show you how i made this turtle basket made with dollar tree items so i'm using this clear garden dish from dollar tree some rope some twine and also the blue and creamish colored rope from dollar tree you can also get your rope at hobby lobby i feel like you get the same type of rope a larger amount for a smaller price but that is totally up to you so i am going to begin swirling the rope all around the inside of this dish like so. I just start with a little twist in my fingers, glue it down, and then I just wrap and wrap. So I'm going to wrap the whole bottom part, glue it down, and then I'm going to come in with one loop of this beautiful blue and cream ribbon from Dollar Tree. So it's going to look like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and take another piece of that ribbon and cut it in half, making sure that my pieces are equal. I have two equal pieces for handles. I am then going to glue them down like you saw me do here, one on either side of my little basket. And then I am going to finish the inside of this basket with the rope. And I'm going to go right over top of those little candles. 
until I get to the top of the basket and that top layer of rope I am going to go behind the handles and this will allow them to stand up a little bit better and then I'm just going to keep wrapping the outside of my basket now you could stop here that's what I was showing you you could leave your bottom flat but I decided to just cover the entire thing then I'm going to take a turtle cutout from Dollar Tree they come about eight to a pack and I'm going to take this Dollar Tree twine and I am just going to glue a piece down and begin wrapping the turtle like so I go under his armpits and wrap his entire body first and then I wrap his little I don't know are they arms fins flappers whatever they are um I go ahead and wrap them and then the feet separately I just found that a little bit easier but however you do it to get this little turtle wrapped up we just don't want to see any of that wood we want him to be covered in this beautiful twine so just use tiny dabs of hot glue wherever necessary and also covering the little feet with the twine. Just be careful of the hot glue. And once your turtle is covered, I just attach him to the middle of the basket. And this is so adorable. So this is mostly for decor. Um, it could be functional if you wanted it to be. I will just be displaying it. I think it is so adorable on its side like this um, and surrounded by other nautical stuff it is so cute so inexpensive and easy to make i really do like this diy and i hope you like it as well okay next i'm going to show you how i easily and inexpensively created this gorgeous anchor decoration i began with some more of that tan and blue twine from dollar tree as well as this rope here and this anchor wreath form i'm also going to be using some regular colored twine from dollar tree so i'm going to begin by making my hanger first i'm taking this blue and kind of creamish color rope i'm cutting the length off and putting it through the top of my anchor i am then going to tie a knot i'm going to stretch out my two tails and tie another knot at the top and this is just going to form the hanger. Now I'm putting the hanger on first because I'm going to be going around the whole thing with twine and I just thought that this would make it a lot easier to begin this process first. I will take my thin blue and tan twine. I will glue it down on one side of that rope hanger and I will begin wrapping. I am just going to wrap this entire thing in the rope. Anytime you come to the end of your rope or twine, um, let's call it twine so I don't get all confused here. Anytime you come to the end of your twine, you just glue a new piece down and start wrapping. I do add a little thin strip of hot glue along the back as I feel like that helps hold it in place. That is totally optional, but I felt like it was a good idea. So I'm just going to wrap, wrap, wrap. It's very easy. Now, once you get to the part where you have that side piece, um, it's a little difficult to wrap straight down so I wrap at a slant like you see me doing here and then I began wrapping one of those side pieces and then I'll come on the other side and continue my slant like so until I can just go ahead and wrap that piece straight out as well. And so I know that I'm not the best at explaining things all the time, but you can see what I'm doing. So this really was quite easy. Once that is done, I do crisscross over the other way with a few strips of this twine just to give this kind of an X look. I just thought it would look a little bit better and a little more finished if the twine was kind of doing an X formation instead of just slanting. So there's what that looks like. And once I get halfway down this anchor or maybe three quarters, however you feel, I'm going to start with this tan jute twine. And I'm going to do the same thing when I reach that bottom part. I'm just going to do an X formation with my twine and then wrap either side. And also when I come to the pointy part of the arrow, I will wrap sideways as well. So that was Diana, my bulldog, coming to say hello. 
Now I'm going to take another one of those turtles that I wrapped in the blue and tan twine and glue it toward the bottom. So this will kind of cover up that little X of twine at the bottom. But then I'm going to take some of these adorable little wooden turtle cutouts that come 12 to a pack from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to put a couple of them on one side, tilted in different directions, looking like they're following their mama. And then one there where the two different twines meet. And here's what this looks like. If you have any questions about how I did this, please leave them below in the comment box. Again, this was so easy and inexpensive. I did not even use a whole spool of each color of twine. So I hope you like this as well. For the next one, I am going to show you how I created an inexpensive sign. For this one, I'm going to take these two Dollar Tree wooden planks and I'm going to use some of these Dollar Tree smaller wood planks to hold it together, but you could use popsicle sticks. I just had these on hand. And then I'm going to flip my sign over and paint it with my Waverly plaster. I'm going to take Waverly Agave, Waverly Pool, and this dark blue Waverly paint, which I will have linked in my description box. And I will also um, leave it on here on the screen if I can when I go back through this video. I just can't remember the exact name of it right now, but it's this beautiful dark blue. So I began by heavily dry brushing with this beautiful dark blue color until I get it how I like it right over top of this plaster color then I take this agave which is a beautiful medium blue and I am going to dry brush that heavily on top of the dark color kind of filling in and just kind of contrasting and then I do it with the very lightest blue which is the Waverly pool paint and once that is done I go over the whole thing with a dry brushing of Waverly plaster chalk paint to mute and blend the entire thing this is what it looks like now I'm taking the ship's wheel and I'm going to paint it in this medium gray um, elephant gray by apple barrel and then I'm going to dry brush over the entire thing with this plaster color chalk paint once that is done I'm going to take this nautical rope and go around that hole right there in the middle of that ship's wheel. I'm going to trim off the excess and I'm going to move my rope to the other side of those spokes and I'm going to wrap that whole circle in this nautical rope. Originally I was going to do each loop separately but then I decided it would look much cleaner if I just did one long strip wrapped around into the loops. So I just place some glue down and I just place my rope on top of it and I just go all the way around until this entire body of the ship's wheel is covered until you see those little spiky things. Now, I don't know nautical terms. I know spiky thing probably is not a nautical <laughs> term, but <laughs> hopefully you know what I mean there. <laughs> so here I am just gluing and pulling it taut so it looks nice and neat round and round until I am done. And then I just trim off the excess and glue it down as flat as possible. And I like to trim off the excess kind of at an angle so it lays nice and flat. Then I'm going to take this a wheel and just hot glue it to my sign where the holes in the sign were. And now these little spokes are going to stick off each side, but I think that looks really cute. For some reason, that little top spoke looks longer and plus it has that hole in it. So I just trim it down and touch up the end of it with some paint. And then I take this home word from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has lots of word options. This was like a metal word and I just press that down with some glue there and this is what my adorable sign looks like a very quick very easy and inexpensive and I absolutely love how it looks now I do go over that word with some of that gray color and then I decided it was too much so I just wiped it off with a napkin and went back over it with that plaster color until I got the desired look and that is how simple it was to create this sign. You can just place any type of hanger that you like on the back. So you can hang it on the wall or you can stand it in a plate stand. And here we go. I really hope you like this fun, easy, and inexpensive DIY as much as I do. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into our next DIY. 
a gorgeous and very easy tag sign. So I'm going to take two more of those wooden and cork board tags from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to take one and paint it generously with that same blue color that we've been using. And then I'm going to apply strips of painter's tape, which I purchased at the Dollar Tree as well. So I'm going to lay a strip. Then I'm just going to lay a small little piece as a spacer to make sure that my lines are even and then lay a strip. I'm going to continue this process until my entire tag is covered. I am doing this so I can create some nice, clean, and beautiful stripes. Once I am ready, I'm going to paint the entire thing with my Waverly Plaster chalk paint. I do two generous coats drying with my heat gun in between. Be careful not to put your heat gun too close or your paint will bubble up. And once that is done, I go ahead and remove these strips and I have some a painter tape and I have some beautiful gorgeous lines so you see my little helping hands there my son was helping me and that is what that looks like now we're going to get the other tag and we're going to flip it over so it's cork board side up and I am just going to put painter's tape all along the edges of that cork board because I want to paint the border which is that raw wood I want to go ahead and paint that so I'm just going to protect my cork board so I don't get paint on it so I'm just cutting a small strips of the painter's tape so I can manipulate it exactly in the angles that I want. Once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and paint the borders of my sign with this Waverly Pool chalk paint. And once that is done, I remove the painter's tape and this little tag sign is ready to be stacked with my other one. So I just stack the striped one on top of the corkboard one and make sure that those holes are together at the top. I use hot glue to attach them. Now I'm taking a couple of wooden embellishments that come in packages of eight, I believe, from Dollar Tree. I'm going to paint my little seahorse with a pool color, and I'm going to paint my little ship with that dark blue at the top using some painter's tape to make sure that I get a nice line. And the bottom of the ship is Waverly Plaster. And then I just paint the other sail in the pool color, just for a little bit of added color contrast. Now I'm going to glue that right down at the bottom of the corkboard tag. And I'm going to glue my little seahorse there right at the bottom corner of my striped tag. Now I have some beautiful Dollar Tree ribbon. I'm going to run a little line along the bottom of my ship there for a little bit more added embellishment and trim off any excess. I just use a little bit of hot glue for that. And then I'm going to take another piece of this ribbon, a larger piece, and I'm going to loop it through the holes at the top there as you see. And I'm just going to go ahead and tie a little knot like you see me doing there and allow the tails to hang and just kind of serve as a decorative piece. But of course, this is very customizable however you would like to do it. I did use my Cricut to print out Go Jump in a Lake, but Dollar Tree does have stickers, rub-on transfers, lots of different ways that you could put words on there. And of course, you could customize the phrase however you want to. And we are moving along into the next DIY, which I have to tell you, I think these little vases are my favorite. They have the Jaboho flair and they're just so adorable. I don't usually get into boho, but I love this. So I'm taking two of these Dollar Tree vases. It doesn't matter what color you find because we're going to cover them. I'm taking tan Dollar Tree twine and also the blue and tan Dollar Tree twine. So we're doing opposites. One, I'm going to wrap the top half of the vase with the tan twine and one I'm going to wrap the top half of the vase with the blue and tan twine. So this is easy peasy. Just go ahead and glue down your twine and get started. Now I did have to kind of go over top of some pieces here. So this is not just one piece of twine um, back to back. I do go over here and there until this whole thing is wrapped gluing where necessary to keep this nice and tight. Once I get about halfway down, I trim my piece off, glue it down, and I begin with the other twine. So for this one, we're beginning with our blue and tan twine, just right there, making sure that they are close together, and we are finishing wrapping this face. This is so easy, and honestly, it really did not take very long at all. Now grab something, I'm using my foam case, but you can grab something that is whatever 
whatever length you want your tassel. I wrap this around probably about 40 times, honestly. And then I tied a piece of twine in the top of my loop. And then I gathered about an inch and tied another piece of twine. And once that is done, I'm going to leave one side a little bit long. And I'm going to use that long side to wrap around several times to form a nice little band there around my tassel. And I'm just going to glue down the excess. I do go ahead and trim the bottom loop of my tassel so it is nice and long and flowy. Now I do also trim it up so that it is an all the same length and exactly how I want it. And then you just grab your vase and wrap some twine around it and attach your tassel. So here's our other vase that we had done opposite and I'm just taking some blue paint and painting the inside since it was white and I felt like that white clashed. Now this paint was not dark enough so I did end up going back and using the blue apple barrel paint that we used in the previous project. So there is that one. Now here I'm showing you how I attached the tassel rather than just explaining it. I wrapped the twine that I used on the bottom of the vase around several times the neck of my vase and here I just string that little tassel on through the top loop and then glue that twine down and here is what it looks like you guys I just think it is so cute here's what the little package of turtles look like and I'm just taking one and putting it right there where those two different types of twine meet with a little bit of hot glue I did not paint these turtles but you totally could if you wanted to and here is what this looks like again you guys honestly I think this is my favorite I think these are just so adorable and they're so inexpensive just a couple of dollars to make this beautiful little trio I just think they have such a cute flair to them and I'm honestly quite proud of them Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this content. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you very soon. Like and subscribe to my mom's channel. And thank you for watching today's craft and stay safe.